Welcome back to King 5. The soccer season ended on Tuesday night for Marysville Pilchuck after they lost a tough game to Stanwood. But as King 5's Chris Egan reports in this week's Prep Zone, MP senior Trina Davis still has some really big matches on the horizon. Okay, outside mids in front. And then only one forward. Paul Bartley has been coaching high school soccer since 1979. Ladies, rotate. The main thing that I like to do is make it so that they're uh, better athletes than when they came in, uh, that they have fun, that they play for each other, and, I, and they're, uh, they hold each other responsible for their actions on the field. That's what we're after. And while it's always team first for Coach Bartley, he does have one player this season that's one of the best he's ever seen. Trina is the only athlete that I've had that uh, can start and stop and change direction, uh, it seems instantly. Because when I'm on the field, I don't think of anything else but soccer and just wanting to win and score. So I think that I just love soccer like a lot. 17-year-old Trina Davis started playing soccer when she was seven. My mom's like, why don't you play a sport? So I tried it and then it was just fun. Trina began playing on select teams in junior high and found success thanks to her speed and scoring ability. She's definitely the fastest person I've ever had play. As a freshman, Trina broke the school record of the 100-meter dash and played second at state as a sophomore. But her passion was for soccer, and as a junior, she earned a scholarship to play for Grambling State. Last June, her future coach asked her an important question. My college coach at Grambling State, he asked me, how come I'm not on the Fiji national team? I've never heard of it. Trina's mom was born and raised in Fiji, and while Trina spent her childhood in Marysville, she now had a chance to play for the Fijian national team. I sent my highlight video and a bio about me and every team I've played. The coach from Fiji emailed Trina right back and offered her a tryout once she got her visa and citizenship. I was in like the top group right away and I was like okay and I didn't think I would start at any games or like play the full minutes. Trina was wrong there. At the Oceana Football Confederation Nations Cup qualifier she not only started but scored a hat trick in her first game and another goal in her third match. I just wanted to score goals but but then it's like one goal two goals and then it's like is it for real <laughs> like you know that's like I think she did like second goal I don't know and I'm asking my daughter is it for real like did it just happen? <laughs> Replace like yes, it did. Because I have a lot of family that live in Fiji. They're all from my mom's side, and then they were all watching. They came to my games, and they were just super excited. The entire country was thrilled. Fiji won the tournament and advanced to a World Cup qualifier, which takes place in November. It just all happened so fast, honestly, and I'm still. I'm not even graduated and if we have a chance to, if we win, I go to the World Cup and the Olympics, like that's a big thing. So I'm like, I'm super excited. Now there is one negative if Trina makes it to the World Cup. She won't be able to attend graduation here at Marysville Pilchuck. I talked to my counselors here and he was like, whoever, whoever gets to say that they're 17 and missed their graduation for a World Cup. And I was like, true, true. And like, I just gonna open up so many doors for me. Trina leaves for Fiji in just over two weeks for a couple days of training before the tournament kicks off. In Marysville, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.